the word of God has capacity to reproduce. For as we behold him like in a mirror, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. As we behold him in a, like in a mirror, as we keep reading, I told them, several years ago, I sat before a doctor with my father who told me I can never father a child. I had a disease for several years. Disease that destroyed my spermatozoan. Not oligosperm cells. No sperm cells. I have the report. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. From, not from one hospital. Not from two. When this report came, the doctor finalized after several reports that I can't have a child. When I proposed, I told her I can never father a child. I told her. She said, we are going to adopt. The one day. And they told me there, there was no medication. When I was reading the word and I saw. This is a place I've heard people quote. It is not God's will that heals. It is the will of God you personalize. I saw that none shall be barren in the midst of my people. I started scattering the room. I was pushing things down. Pastor Karam out. I said, I cut it. I can't be barren because I am God's seed. I showed up to the hospital. I declared seven days prayer and praise. When I was done, I was using water. I poured water in a can and took it as a communion for seven days. After seven days, I showed up. My semen was collected. After all the analysis, the person said no. The person that collected it, the doctor said the person that collected it took another one. After a while, he now had to collect it himself the third time. And by the time I came back, he said, go call your father. I called my father. The first question he asked my father, what did you do to this boy? My father said nothing. Did you give him any, any medication? My father said no. He told my father that the sperm cells this boy has now is more than the sperm cell of three healthy men. Every man has at least 60 million sperm cells. I had 210 million from no sperm cell to 210 million. <laughs> and I That's why my wife said, you know, for, I said, I can't be this hot and give better for. Let us shift ground at least five. Let us, you know. So we, she will see people that give birth to two and say, ah, ah, you go? And she will look at me and say, ah, you go? It was the word I discovered. They are held to them that found it. Your word have I found and ate, and it became the joy and the rejoicing of my soul. They are medicine to their soul and held to their body. Held to their body. There is something called what my door is more powerful than Panadol. I sent forth my word and my word heals and delivers from all. No medication again. It was the word I saw. Just like the day I was reading, I, I saw in Isaiah. Let not him that dwell in Zion say, I am sick. I saw it. I said, are you serious? If you are a Zionite, you can't be sick. Whatever cannot be found in Christ cannot be found in me. If Jesus cannot lay down on the hospital to cry any day, he said, all things are yours. If he said, greater than I have done, you shall do. So he said, I can't be sick. I can't be sick. I can't be sick. I can't be sick. You will never visit me in any hospital with locals aid. Daddy, did we are oh, say, mm. Daddy, can't go say, make mm, mm. Daddy, what is sick? No, that devil is a bastard. I can't be sick. Now listen to me. The devil who left heaven, fell from grace, cannot get sick. Devil can never be sick. Because there is something God showed him that he can't unlearn. There is something he learned he can't unlearn. The Bible says he dwelt in the hills of God. He had access to divine secrets. That's why even after he left, he can't still be mortal. He's still immortal. He can't die. Now if the devil that left the throne of God cannot be sick, how much more myself that dwells with Christ in the heavenly places? I can't be sick. I can't be sick. I can't be sick. I can't be sick. 
drugs we are made for humans. I'm not against medical science, but I'm not a human. Psalms 82 verse 6, have I not said unto you, you are God, and all of you the sons of the living God. I call them God unto whom the word of the Lord came to. For the scriptures cannot be broken. John chapter 10 verse 35. So it is God's word that makes us God on earth. And when you are a God, you are supernaturally in charge of your situation. One day, Moses killed one of the Egyptian guards and then hid him under the soil. The news went that he killed someone and they pursued him. He ran to Midian and stayed for 40 years. In Exodus chapter 3, the Bible says he was tending the father's, the father-in-law's flock like every other day. Suddenly he saw a bush burning, but the bush was not consumed. And he drew close to know what exactly was taking place. And then a voice spoke, a voice spoke from the bush and said, Moses, I see, look to see. He said, pull off what you have on your legs. Moses pulled off his shoe and came into that mountain of encounter. And the Lord said, this day from being a man, I make you a God unto Pharaoh. Go back to Egypt. Have you not asked yourself a question? A man that is answering mother case returned to the same place he killed someone and nobody bothered to ask. He went straight to the palace of Pharaoh and Pharaoh could not Tell him, I hear you kill someone. Do you know why? When he was in Egypt, he was a man. But as he returned from Midian to Egypt, he became a god. You cannot bring an offense against any god. Nobody's understanding what I'm saying. The Lord said to him, I make you a god unto Pharaoh. It was the word that came from the burning bush that made him a god. So men become gods. By the words of their encounters. Hi. Hi. Men become gods by the words of their encounters. Men become gods by the words of their encounters. Men become gods by the words of their encounters. Men become gods. They stopped me a while ago and they wanted to kill me. I mentioned the name of a man. They brought everybody in that bus out from the bus. Or the prayer team I went with. And I heard in my spirit, this is not the day you die. It's not the day you die. It's not the day you die. Then we are there, we took on the invisibility nature of God. I told the driver, enter the car. He said, shh. I said, enter the car. He entered the car. Then we are talking. They, we blew a horn, they moved out of the way and we left. Another time it was a gun that was pop, 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 and then it didn't release. Another time it was armed robbers that kept something on the road and they say, kneel down, I say, kneel down for no man. I kneel down only for the master. They say, squat down, I say, squat for no man. Lay down, I say, lay for no man. Agile waste him. As I close my eyes, faith does not mean you won't be afraid, but it means you will conquer the fear. I closed my eyes and all of a sudden they started running. I looked around, I couldn't see anything. I went to remove what was there. I told the Lord, why are they running? He said, look up as I looked up. I saw men that were moving, but that were never coming close. They were in army uniform. These were the people they saw. One with God is more than majority. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Somebody say it loud, amen. You didn't say it loud. You didn't say it loud. The louder that 